Okay, finally Scott Colton revealed what he meant yesterday. It's crazy. And so as of this recording, he now has 54 posts and 222k followers and 20 following. Anyway, we'll break that all down in a flash. So let's go. It's really interesting. So uh, Scott Colton, he, he tweeted tweets of featuring nostalgic videos from YouTube, from YouTubers like Markiplier, Doppel, and such. And then he kept retweeting um, fan arts and other stuff about FNAF. Yeah, it's just really cool. But this is where he started this. So this is the tweet that came after that Withered Bonnie tweet he did from one day ago. So now he recently tweeted a new tweet 7 hours ago. Stating, today is officially the 10th anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's. None of this could have been possible without you, the fans. Through all the ups and downs, you have been what has made the franchise endure and continue to move forward. Today is about celebrating you, the fans. Thank you. That is so sweet from Scott Cotton. Next up, Steelwood Studios recently tweeted a new tweet 7 hours ago featuring an artwork of Freddy holding classic cupcake Carl, the cupcake, and with a Minecraft text, Happy Birthday Freddy. Yeah, get it? So funny. Five Nights at Freddy's turns 10 today. How are you celebrating? Well, I'm celebrating with this video since yesterday. So Scott recently retweeted that or I think reposted that 7 hours ago based from the of the video. So after Scott kept um, retweeting tweets of people, um, him linking old videos, he tweeted this and we got four new behind the scene images of the FNAF 2 moving and movie and finally for the first time ever we get to see Withered Chica and I guess Mangal as well but maybe that's Withered Foxy but I think it's Mangal for me and then also Toy Freddy yeah, sorry I just had to pause yeah you can see in the first image you can see official models of the Withered animatronics I think that's the leg legs of Withered Chica yeah and Toy Bonnie I assume over there at that first image I don't know Mangle or Withered Foxy yeah, this should be Mangle because Withered Foxy's top head is broken right so this is Mangle guys finally the, the face and head of Mangle is shown third image yeah Toy Freddy finally Toy Freddy will be big I mean in terms of his size a fat one but that's okay yeah, like in the games. And then finally, Toy Bonnie's face and head after we already saw Withered Bonnie. So why not Toy Bonnie after Withered Bonnie? So yeah, the green eyes is there. So the green eyes from the old tweet is literally the same one here. Yeah, and you get to see some animatronic heads like Deadmau and other characters not related to the FNAF movie. So interestingly, he just tweeted this minutes ago. So Scott Cotton said, there is one more surprise before the day is over. We'll be releasing one page from the actual Five Nights at Freddy's 2 movie screenplay. Of course, it might be more interesting if it were released alongside three fake screenplay pages. It will be up to the fan base to figure out which page is real. Happy 10th anniversary. So wow. So he's gonna post four scripts, but only one of them is true. So yeah, we're gonna be reading that. and. In this video, we're gonna decide which one is the real one. So let's start reading. So the first page is the script from page 25. She looks up at Toy Chica confused, and Toy Chica slowly puts her hand on Abby's head. INT original Fred Fasper's Pizzeria storage room, same time. Okay. Vanessa watches the monitor through pained breaths. On the screen, Toy Chica's hand strokes Abby's head, and Toy Chica's head turns slowly to look back at the camera at Vanessa. Vanessa's is squeezed tighter. She cries out in pain. Vanessa says, Okay, okay, please, just don't hurt her. The grip loosens and Vanessa watches Toy Chica look back at the computer. Vanessa can't be. 4 A D Z X I'm the original Fred Fast Pizza office same time. Toy Chica replies Vanessa's code culminating in. Toy Chica, C, D, 1. Abby enters and looks back up. Abby says, what now? Toy Chica, hit enter. Abby's finger dangles above the enter key. She looks up at the animatronic for approval. Toy Chica nods and Abby presses. Click. Toy Chica's eyes light up. Toy Chica, you did it, Abby. We are free. 
Next page from page 18. General Everly Hunt D. I never liked this project from the get-go. What the hell kind of idea was it for the US Army to get in bed with a pizza place? Captain Nelson says, Casper Entertainment is more than just a pizza place, sir. General Everly says, I mean, you waving a hand. Yeah, they are a circus. That's what they are. I still can't believe the government funded the company. The men and women at the table exchanged glances. They are obviously a little surprised to hear the commanding officer expressing so many objections to their project. General Everly Condi, whoever heard of testing government finance tech on robots designed to entertain kids? Shaking his head. You ask me, Dramon, but his sentimentality get the best of him just because his kid liked those robot animals. Captain Nelson, Fastbear Entertainment's animatronic tech was way ahead of any robotics that General Everly snaps forward. He picks up the report and slaps it back down again. General Everly, but we're not talking about robotics now, are we? Stamping up the report. This year says nothing about robotics. It's all about vortices and wave functions and the general opens his report. He flips pages and frowns at the one he lands on. General Everly could be reading observable effects of unobservable energy exchanges, lifting his gaze more. Next up, script from page 58. Mike. Godly. Why would somebody write something like that for little kids, Abby? You remember how the little boy in, in it has all these plushies he loves, but then he gets sick with one of those diseases kids don't get much anymore, Mike. Yeah, he gets scarlet fever, Abby. Yeah, he did. He is so sick he might die, and he's contagious, and so is everything he is taught. He has touched. So they have to burn all his plushies because they are dangerous, Mike with the look of downing understanding yeah i remember the story what are you saying abs Ab says i'm saying these plushies are dangerous too somebody should burn them i think text me mike's car night mike is parked at the gas station he takes out his phone and dials vanessa vanessa voice on phone hello mike says hey are you working tonight vanessa says no i might interrupt then i'll be over in half an hour wear dark clothing we got a job to do mike hangs hangs up and gets out of the car. He's dressed entirely in black. The last page from page 4. INT abandoned Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria and theater dining room continues. The man and the kids step into a large dining room. Dust shrouded tables and chairs crowd the room encircling a motionless carousel sitting on a hawkly shadow. The man leads the kids to the carousel. He steps up onto it, helping Gemma up after him. Darren looks the moose, but he hops up as well. The man reaches for big red button, slaps the button. The carousel buzzes, lights up, starts to turn. Tiny music plays. Gemma claps her hands, eyes sparkling. She looks at the carousel's animals. The carousel's characters, a brown bear, a blue bunny, a yellow chick, a pirate fox, a gator, a wolf, and a hippo are all brightly colored. They are cartoonish over the top. Gemma says, a bunny. Darren, making a scoffing gesture at the blue bunny. This is fake. Gemma, pouting, I want the bunny, daddy. Man says, we're not here for a ride, sweetie. The man takes Gemma's hand. He leads her to the center of the carousel. Darren follows. A doorway is set into the hub of the carousel. The man opens it. Beyond the door, a circular staircase descends into darkness. Man, can't be. I'll go first. Hang on to the railing. Stay close. The man starts down the staircase. He checks to be sure his kids are following. They are. So, based on all these four scripts, like what mostly everyone are saying, the, the last script is the most viable one. I mean, yeah, even if the other scripts featured the return of Mike, Abby, and Vanessa, Vanessa who was unconscious from the movie's ending, and Mike and Abby who plan to visit Fred Fast for Pizza again, I don't think those characters will be for the FNAF 2 movie after all. What if there's a twist? What if we have different prot protagonists now? What if it's Jeremy and friends? So I'm leaning to this fourth one. 
it makes sense. The carousel, we do know there's a carousel in FNAF 2, except there is no wolf, hippo, and a, and a gator, but those are reference of Montgomery Gator, Roxanne Wolf, and Happy Hippo. There were only four characters in the carousel, bakat FNAF 2. Interestingly, how this script says that when they open the carousel, like a basement open, that's interesting. What could be in there? The withered animatronics or something? We don't know. So I believe it's the fourth one, guys. Yeah, that was so cool. And then Scott has recently tweeted a last tweet minutes ago, new tweet minutes ago. He says, Thank you to all the fans for making this an amazing 10 years, and thank you for being a part of the anniversary today. The outpouring of love for Freddy and the gang has been really heartwarming to see. It makes everything worthwhile. Scott. So there you guys have it. Thank you to Scott Cotton as well. And yeah, the I'm officially saying the FNAF 10th anniversary schedule is over. I'm glad we tackled them all. Although I didn't get to tackle the, the other twist that Scott did regarding the fans and the nostalgic twists, but that's okay. It really covered the news. Thank you guys for watching and happy 10th anniversary to Scott Cotton and Five Nights at Freddy's. It's already August 9th in our country, Philippines. But for you guys, it's still August 8th somehow. It's 8.20 a.m. now, but for you guys, it's 8.20 p.m. So, yeah. I'll see you guys when you guys are watching this video. Bye, everyone. See you guys later. Peace. Peace out.